Kotan first told you about suspicious incidents at two local synagogues, unknown women asking strange questions. Now they've come forward. And Local 10 News reporter Michael Seiden is live with what they had to say. Michael. Well, in about a minute, you are going to meet a Muslim woman who told us that she's terminally ill battling breast cancer. She also made it clear she doesn't watch or read the news, so she didn't really understand why it was so concerning to some in the Jewish community when she showed up at a synagogue unannounced wearing Muslim guard and asking a series of odd questions. But she did also make it clear that she was hoping to learn more about Judaism. Tonight, we are getting a clear picture of the two Muslim women who walked into a North Miami Beach synagogue and began asking odd questions, even pulling out a copy of the Quran. Jewish people, in a positive way, they love and care. They love me, and they want to include me in their life. Investigators say Nabila Owaka and her mother, Mama Aziz, visited the synagogue on two separate occasions, February 12th and again on the 14th. Nabila claims she called the rabbi, but members of the congregation tell me that never happened. Still, she insists she was a welcome guest and was hoping to learn more about the Jewish Bible, known as the Torah. I'm a social person. I love people. I love being around people. There was also a similar incident in Miami Beach where two members of this congregation claimed they were approached by someone asking similar questions. Miami Beach detectives don't believe it was this mother and daughter. There's no kind of animosity here with, with between our communities. Today, the Council on American Islamic Relations weighed in on the investigation. Do you see where the Jewish community is coming from, especially when you have extremists who are committing terroristic acts not only around the world, but right here in the U.S. It is the right thing. If, if I see somebody, a stranger, in walking into an Islamic center in Jewish garb, asking when, uh, what time do we congregate, how many people go to the, to the mosque, that's a strange behavior. Most probably it's going to be reported. Uh, here in North Miami Beach, we take every single incident that comes across our desk very serious. And again, the chief of police here saying this is a perfect example. If you see something suspicious, say something. Again, the police department says they're going to investigate all claims. But again, this case is closed. And I also want to mention that on Wednesday, when we brought you this story, we blurred the faces of those women because they did not commit a crime. For now, we are live in North Miami Beach. I'm Michael Seiden, Local 10 News.